now that I have everything working on my, my arrow fires, the hit test works, now what I'm going to do is add a score to my game. So I'm going to use a text box just to show the score on the screen. Because if we don't have something to show the score, well, we don't know whether it goes up or down or not. And I'm going to make sure that on my properties, I'm going to change that to dynamic text because that text is actually going to change. And we're going to give it an instance name of um, txt score. Now, underneath where it says options, we're also going to add a, a variable option. Now, the variable options means that whatever is shown in this output actually corresponds to whatever is stored in the variable of score. Now, what we're going to do is when this arrow goes through here, it's going to add one to the score. So we have to put the score on the hit test. Now, our hit test has been stored on the arrow. So if we go to Window Actions and we make sure that the arrow is selected here, this is our hit test. So at the moment, all we've got on here is a trace to tell us if that hit test is working. Now we're going to put a score on. So we're going to say in the variable score, I want score to equal score plus one. Now, now the problem with that is if I play it, nothing happens. It says that it's hitting, that nothing's happening up here. The problem with that is, is that score is by default a text variable. So what I need to do is convert score to an integer by putting int and then the brackets around the score um, plus one as an integer. Now I'm also going to trace the score to make sure that I know what's happening. Now, if you want to trace a variable, you leave out, so here we've put in the little speech marks around it. So that's saying that we want to actually write out hit on the output when we export it, when we trace it. In this case, I'm actually going to trace the value of score rather than the word score. So I leave the um, speech marks out. So let's try it. Hey, so you'll notice down here it actually scored four because it went through there in four frames. Now, if we try this now as is, you'll notice that if we press play, the score traces down here and I get four points, but it doesn't actually show in my text box that I have here. Now, the reason for that is that at the moment, the program doesn't know where score is stored. So we have to tell it that it is scored at the root of the document by putting in underscore root dot score before each score. And then when we do it again, yeah, we got six points, 12 points, 18 points. We're brilliant.